Well, I'm not going to lie. After our very uh, successful and big weekend we had, I'm kind of tuckered out. I haven't been sleeping well, so we're going to take a nice, easy day today. Um, going to be some short videos. I think I've got some unblocked ones that are going to get unblocked too, so... I'm gonna take a night off. This is me taking a night off, so enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to Leave Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. Uh, I'm a little loopy though, <laughs> but we are back with Aerosmith. Uh, after their very successful debut on the channel a couple weeks ago, um, I have been absolutely addicted to uh, Nobody's Fault, which was, uh, it is now a part of my uh, warm up playlist before I start recording and such. It is one of the just most adrenaline f just fueled songs I think I've ever heard in my life. I mean, it's just pedal to the metal. and It's dangerous to put on when you're driving. <laughs> but courtesy of our patron Scott today, we're going to be checking something out. A song that I have heard many times, but we're going to be watching a video for it. Uh, it's on the Midnight Special. Uh, I don't know what year it is. I'm guessing it's the same year their debut album came out, which this song is off of. Of course, that song is uh, Dream On. I think everyone in the world has heard this song. Um, but... I've never seen anything live for them, to be honest. Um, like I said, my only view of like Steven Tyler and all that was uh, the the older, washed up kind of rock star appearance that he had later in life. That's the only one that I was really exposed to as a child or anything like that. So it's all new to me. You know, I've heard some of their songs on the radio. I've I've heard this one obviously, but um, yeah, I'm excited to check this out. Never seen them live, so let's do this. If y'all want to subscribe, please help a brother out. Click that icon right below my face and uh, leave a like and a comment too. I'd really appreciate it. All right. Aerosmith, Dream On on the Midnight Special. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Austin, baby. Like he's in a trance. What you got, Joe? Oh. Ring 
elbow. He always knows where the camera's at. Always know your mark. It's a very creative book. Now that is a power ballad. Thank you, Midnight Special, for cataloging and for posting all of this. It's uh, it's wonderful. Even if you guys do take the money, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just glad that this stuff is saved for... Sorry, Bones and Bonesy. Um, you know, I'm just glad it's saved for, you know, posterity's sake, obviously. And just to be able to see, like, what people um of the times you know what they looked like how they acted how they performed and stuff because who knows like you know barring no major solar flares or anything this stuff will be saved for you know the rest of our civilization because i doubt unless something crazy happens the internet's not going anywhere you know i mean eventually there's going to be more servers and there's graves than there are in the earth because there's going to be so much information um and files are going to get bigger and bigger and it's just it's kind of scary. Eventually, there's going to be whole states devo just devoted to um, data housing and such, you know? <laughs> One day, man. I always had this thought as a kid that eventually we're going to reach a point where there's going to be a grave everywhere, you know, if we bury everybody, <laughs> you know? So it's the same thing with, like, computers and stuff, man. Like, it's just... It's, it's going to be crazy. I'm just glad, you know, that maybe even a hundred years from now, some uh, doofus like me can sit down and, you know, listen and watch and experience this just like I did, you know, maybe they'll watch my video and have, you know, me watching it with them. Cause that's kind of what I set out to do is to, you know, just have a channel where people can listen to things with somebody, you know, and, uh, it's always fun to listen to music with a buddy. It's always great by yourself, but it's always better with somebody with you. I mean, that's just the truth. Because um, you can be like, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Did you like that? Oh, I didn't like that. You know, I think that's pretty cool. Even though we can't really, you know, chat, even though we chat, you know, in the premieres and stuff, you know, it's kind of a one way street, but I do talk to y'all and I appreciate every um, input, all the input that you guys give me on the songs, you know, things I can do better, you know, things I can do worse. I mean, there's always things you can do worse too, you know, and I appreciate the nice comments, you know, so, um, it's very nice. Okay, so for this song, Steven Tyler on the vocals, obviously, Joe Perry on lead guitar, Brad Whitford on rhythm guitar, Tom Hamilton on the bass guitar, and Joey Kramer on the drums. Um, and I'm guessing this is from 1976 or maybe 1977, the performance itself. Um, and like I said, that that is a just um, supercharged power ballad. <laughs> That's definitely what that is. That's um, one of the best power ballads of just all time right there. Um, when I first heard that song when I was younger, I uh, it actually really stuck with me, you know, because I heard it, you know, probably when I was in my, you know, young teens or whatever. Um, but it always did stick with me, you know, even throughout all these years, just because of how uh, timeless the message is, you know, and just how powerful the song itself as well. But, it, you know, it's just the message itself, you know, I mean, it's there's always that superficial level that, you know, our brains, you know, oh, dream on, you know, it's it's not it's pretty basic, you know, but it is true. It is like just dream until your dreams, your dreams come true. And it's so true because you have to if you if you don't have a goal, you don't have a dream, you don't have a purpose or something you're building towards, you're really just kind of going to spin your wheels, you know, you're really not going to go anywhere. Uh, you may feel like you're moving, but you're really not moving any direction. You're just staying in one spot. Maybe you're actually even going backwards. You don't even realize it. You know, <laughs> your car might be in reverse. You don't know. Um, you know, and we really do have to dream big because I think that's our problem these days is we dream too small. Um, and if we do dream big, we dream, um, what's the word? Uh, very, um, un unobtainable, unobtainable. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, you know, it's just kind of like we make a huge, you know, dream that obviously is not going to happen. You know, it's almost like we're doing that to cheat ourselves. I always did that for a long time because I was afraid of success. I was dead ass straight up afraid of success because I knew that I would succeed if I actually put 
even like 20% of my effort or mind towards something, I probably would succeed at it, you know? And that's just what scared me because then if I succeed, then you have responsibility. That's the real kicker. I don't like responsibility. Um, even though I've tried to prove myself wrong with that, with obviously having children. And um, <laughs> that's one thing. This channel, you know, I always try to put something out at least every day. And I have consistently for a while now, you know? So, you know, consistency, all that stuff was not my strong suit. And this song just inspires you to... Um, definitely dream big and, uh, keep on dreaming. So that dream comes true, baby. Uh, uh you know, Joe, Joe's, uh, guitar lines in the song are just absolutely out of this world. The riffs he's just pulling out and it's so light. It's not like too in your face, like aggressive. It's actually very, um, melodic and, um, soft at points, you know, and it is just like, almost like a young man or a young woman dreaming, you know, about what their future life is going to be, you know? Um, and, you know, it, it usually doesn't turn out that way. You know, that's just how it is. You know, you shoot for the stars and if you hit the moon, hey, you're happy with it, you know, but you have to shoot for the stars in, in the first place. You know, if you shoot for the moon, you're probably just going to end up at like <laughs> whatever it is, not the Hubble, um, whatever. God, I think it's Goddard, right? The Space Center, whatever. The I, no, it's called the ISS, right? Yeah, I just going to end up there. Um, you know, so you got to shoot up for the stars, man, you know, always. And if you miss, whatever, you know, then shoot again. It's all good. <laughs> Watch this video is going to get flagged now for me saying all that stuff. Um, you know, uh, the performance itself, obviously, um, Steven has got such charisma on demand, bro. Like he just like knows what the camera is at every moment. And that one moment where he just pointed into the camera while he was singing, I felt that shit, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I was like, whoa, he's talking to me, man. That's wild. Um, it's kind of like, you know, challenging you to dream on, you know, because that, that is what it is. It's it's like a challenge of sorts, you know, you got to dream on because if you don't, what are you going to do? You're going to spin your wheels. That's all you're going to do. Um, so I'm glad that we have this saved and this wonderful performance to watch, um, you know, for the future generations, because this is a song that's probably gonna, you know, stick with folks for a long time, you know, um, well, our species, at least our culture, society, whatever you want to say it, you know, it's probably big in, cult in cultures that you wouldn't even think, you know, this is one of the most popular rock songs of all time, you know, um, since the, you know, the eighties and late seventies and such, it's. It's huge. Even though it didn't do well in the charts at first, you know, I think it's one of those songs that just developed over time, kind of like a snowball effect almost. And just now it's one of the biggest ones ever, but maybe not in the moment, you know, uh, when it first came out. But that was great. Thank you, Scott, for a great pick, my friend, as always. Um, I'd have to go with Steven as my favorite part of this. Definitely, man. His vocals, his charisma, his stage presence, all that just... Man, what a vocalist, dude. And he can just shriek, too, when he needs to. And especially at the end, he's just, like, basically pleading pleading and begging you just to dream on. Like, he just it just won't stop. Like It's like he's got this fire burning in him that's just telling him to tell people to dream big, you know? And, um, yeah, I can, get, I can get down with that message for sure because we got to. That's why we um, are in the mess that we're in right now because we're just, we think way too small and we don't, and we think within our nice little Amazon package, you know, <laughs> we don't think um, outside of the box at all. Critical thinking, ro uh, ro or logic, uh, logic, you know, reason, all that stuff. It's very, very rare to find these days, especially in a rational discourse, anything like that. It's just thrown out the window at this point and it sucks. It really, really sucks. Um, and unfortunately, things like this just don't get fixed unless, you know, there's a lot of um, a lot of, you know, talking and like working things out over time, you know, or in the immediate, if something crazy happened, we would have to be united, you know, together sort of thing. And that's when my tinfoil hat comes on. And I'm like, oh, well, ever since I was a kid, I've heard all kinds of little little, you know, things from birdies and such, shall we say, about um fake things happening to unite the world you know if you catch my drift you know um i don't know i guess we'll see right hopefully that tinfoil hat is just a tinfoil hat <laughs> thanks for watching guys and if you have any other picks by aerosmith please leave it down below i'll definitely check it out because i um i loved this song obviously i've i've loved this song since i first heard it but Man, Nobody's Fault is so good. If you have any other songs like that by them, give them to me, bro, because I want it. <laughs> I want that shit so bad. That song is so good, man. It really is. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Patreon right there. Right. That's a picture of it. There's a link in the description. Join the $15 tier. We're up to get one free request a month. 
There's a patrons only Discord server, a um, bunch of block videos, and all of our full album reactions to the Beatles, King Crimson, Blind Faith. Um, there's all kinds of stuff on there. And I've been doing like these Patreon drops, sort of these like, you know, kind of premiere things lately. Um, they just came out with it. They're still working out some kinks with it, but it's still cool, you know, and I kind of try to make announcements beforehand, you know, for them. Um, but it, it seems to me like, you know, just the core group of subscribers and patrons have been there for them. And that's fine, you know, because they're always there to watch afterwards. It's not like they're going anywhere. It's just like YouTube, you know. But if you guys did want to join us for one of those, um, I will have those posted like in the Discord and such, you know, if you ever wanted to come hang out and watch those. Um, and there's also a PayPal as well in the description if you want to send a tip or request in that way. See you later.